Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today we are totally checking out the brand new Playmates Toys Walmart exclusive, the box set featuring Eastman and Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the comic book collection featuring six figures inspired by the original 84 comic book, and the box itself is a giant wouldn't say party wagon, but it's definitely April's van from the comic book series, and it comes with a fancy dandy little handle right there. You can take it all around. I would have loved to have had this as a kid back in the day. That's a fantastic little collector's case without all the plastic. Of course, the box would have been destroyed in seconds, but yeah, it's still awesome. Love the artwork on the side. Love to see the New York skylight sort of reflected in the hubcaps. The back shows Donatello. For some reason, I don't know what he's doing back there. Maybe he's working on something sciencey or something like that. Bottom of the box shows you exactly what you get within all six figures for Turtles, one Splinter, and a Shredder. Here's the barcode as well. These probably will not hit stores unless for some fancy reason that, for whatever, it's just going to be online. And if you are interested in still grabbing a set, they still should be available on Walmart. So hopefully you can grab one. Look in the description below. But... Again, I'm loving everything about this just in terms of seeing the original comic book turtles, the artwork, and then of course you open it up and you get to see all six figures. Now, I specifically got this set mainly for the Shredder and Splinter. And as you can see, it's Shredder in his classic colors when they colorize the black and white comic book. So it works. It's cool. I love everything about the packaging. The backside shows really nice artwork from the original comic book. You can screen grab this if you want to read about it. The Ninja Turtles themselves with this packaging are re-releases. They released these several years back. I didn't grab all of them. I grabbed them when I saw them. So basically I'm getting these again plus the two figures that I like to go with my set of comic book turtles and I'll have a bevy of comparisons and everything else. I do like what they did with Splinter here. The colorized version of the black and white, yeah, kind of resembles the old cartoon. And of course, the turtles, Splinter, Shredder, everything else. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Playmates Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic book collection, the original 1984 Eastman and Laird Turtles. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel where I take a look at lots of retro action figures, new action figures, toy news, constant news updates. There's something here for you. I definitely guarantee it. Hit the subscribe button, turn on my notifications, and I'll see you around the YouTubes. And of course, here are all the figures out of the packaging, and it's okay. And I'm going to say this right off the bat, might save you some time for watching this entire video, but this is a fantastic gift set for a child that is getting into, or parents want to get them into, the Ninja Turtles at 40 bucks for the entire six-figure set plus the carrying case. You really cannot go wrong. From a collector's standpoint, it's great. Don't open them. Keep them in the box. I'm sure you'll love it forever. It's a nice display piece. When you pull them out, you get the same exact Ninja Turtle figures that you got before, and you're getting two old, old Playmates toys, one of them a little bit redesigned, repainted, redecoed to make them look like the comic book series. So either you really like the comic book series, or you really like Ninja Turtles, or this is just completely not for you in any way, shape, or form. But in the meantime, let's talk about the turtles themselves and like i said these are reissues of previous figures that have been released by playmates toys back in the past they're made to look like the old comic book they got etchings and everything else little lines little marks and they are designed with the colors in mind the green the reds everything else they have some black shading here and there it's very light but for the most part, it works. And I do like having them to be, it's all the same turtle body. The faces are different for each turtle. And of course, the weapons are different as well. Now, it did show in the box that the weapons did come painted. These did not. So that's kind of a bummer. I wish that they were. The articulation on these are going to be what throws some people off. I think that a multi 
articulated figure is something that most people will be expecting. The main problem with these are the wrists and the elbows. It's very much a pre-positioned elbow and a wrist which does not turn so you don't get a nice sense of fluid motion out of them. The heads are a little bit stuck on all of these. It kind of takes just some tweaking here and there just to kind of get them to work. Overall, they look good. I'm going to give them that. But articulation-wise, it leaves a lot to be desired. These are simply reuses of the same molds, so don't expect anything different. Now with Splinter, this is where I'm a lot more happy to have this figure. This is utilizing the old comic book art style, right? The black and white, giving some brevity to it with the colorization. Yeah, he kind of had like the purple robe from the cartoon series, kind of, sort of. Other senses, and this is what I've always thought, he kind of had the more brown, like, garbage baggy type stuff, but that could also be from when he's delving through the sewers and everything else. It's, you know, it's what thinking back. But the purple is fine. We're totally cool with that. He comes with the old tree weapon system, right? You can take them all off. He also comes with the old bow and arrow. And he looks good for what it is. I mean, it is the original Splinter Playmates toys with some new paint. He's got some massive eyelashes going on. He does have cloth goods, robes. It's cool. It's different from the original Playmates version. It's a lot more tattered rags. So that's a different aspect to it. But everything else is still the same on this figure, just with some different paint. I never noticed how odd Splinter's tail is until seeing this version of this character. But... The head will rotate, the arms will go up. He does have wrist articulation that I wish the Ninja Turtles themselves had. He'll kick out, and of course, his tail will spin up and down. Sometimes his garments will get stuck, you move them around. It kind of hinders the articulation in a way that they'll get stuck underneath the joints, but you can just fix it. Also, the belt is removable, and you could pop everything off if you'd like to. Now, Shredder is actually a mixture of old and new, oddly enough. I'll show you the comparisons in just a second. But yes, they have gone to the fact of going back and painting the eyebrows on the helmet. I love that they did that. I mean, it's so cornball, but they, they did it again. But as you can see, from black and white to color, yes, Shredder is in that color scheme that you see in the colorized black and white version. And that's really what drew this to me. I like... It's a weird, it's weird seeing the old Shredder and then having it in a comic book form. That's that's cool to me. And again, for the price point, it's well worth it to have it. Much like Splinter, he does come with the weapons tree. You can have it just kind of set up. You can take all the weapons off. It's your choice. But utilizing the body of the old Shredder is kind of funny, being that he was mostly a shirtless figure. Now it kind of looks like, yeah, he was supposed to wear like this type of dealie. They put a old cloth goods around him as well. The difference being is that while the articulation is the same up top, my arm, while it's articulated, it does not spin. I have tried, so it's stuck. I don't know why. The head will rotate as well. The arm will go up. The old pup, remember this hand, everything else. The legs are different. They have been redone, remolded. Right? It's a completely different bottom half to the Shredder. Whereas the previous Shredder was more in that hunched, crouched down position. Colors are different, as you can see. Shirtless, everything else. He's missing his purple garment. But this one works with the body. Looks like he's wearing a shirt and everything else. And just the position of the legs is different. This one's a little bit more crouched. This one's the legs are a little bit more extended. So they repurpose the body. Gave him some new legs. The armor pieces just kind of reformatted them, and yeah, it works. It's kind of a different figure if you look at it. Again, Splinter, the same exact figure as the original Playmates. Here's my old, old Splinter I used to play with, missing every single accessory you could imagine. But it is cool to see them redo this in a way. It doesn't really detract or take away from the original but it's done in a very interesting way. So in that sense, I don't really mind it, and it's completely different. Now, I do have the black and white turtles that came out about a year or so ago. They had a Walmart exclusive set where they redid the green turtles, and they put the whole NECA spin on them. And I really think that, in all honesty, Playmates, you guys need to get back to doing what you do with Ninja Turtles. Let NECA, who is just killing it with the competition on turtles, 
do their thing, let Super 7 do their thing, and we want to see new Ninja Turtle action figures from you. We want to see what you can do. You originated the line, you originated the toys, they're doing their thing, let's see what you can do. Don't keep rehashing the same Ninja Turtle figures over and over again. It's not what we want to see. Those have been done, now let's see you do something new and cool. If you want to go retro, that's cool as well, but it's got to be something other than this. Now, one thing I will point out and say, between the white versions and then the green versions, they've kind of mismatched the turtles, the heads at least, when the weapons came with who they came with. Each of them, minus Raphael, is a different turtle now. So, like, say Donatello is now Michelangelo. So you can... <laughs> really do what you want with them in a weird way i would have liked to have seen the original ninja turtle figures in this more all red scheme i think that would have been kind of cool to see i i think so at least and if they ever do that or if they ever repaint these in the black and white versions i would be down to see that as well but here you can see all the scale differences including with the neca figures that still maintain the superiority, I will say this. Like, I, you know, can't stress enough. Playmates, we want to see more from you, but this, this box set, is the bare minimum. It's cool, but at the same time, mm, a little bit, come on, we, you know what I'm talking about. So, I am curious to know what you guys think about these figures. Are they for you? Will you be getting this box set? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Ninja Turtles. I'll tell you this, for the price point, for everything that you get, for six figures, interesting figures to say the least, best best scenario is for a kid. This would make his day. Think about that years from now. Oh, I remember I got this old set for my birthday or Christmas or something like that. So in that sense, it's cool. Collectors, I think you're going to dig it. For someone like me, I like seeing the old comic book figures and the price ain't too shabby at all. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, when it comes to the original Ninja Turtle figures, I would not be opposed to some Triceratons and also some Foot Soldiers here and there in the original comic book colors. Playmates, if you're listening, and when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.